Hello everyone, myself Supriya Rai. Here in this video, we will see chapter number 4 of class 7th, Animal Fibers. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Climate and clothes, types of fiber, hair to wool and life cycle of silk moth. First, we will see why we need these fibers. We all know that we need these fibers to make clothes. Long ago, human beings used leaf, bark of tree, skin of animal to cover their bodies. Aap sabko pata hai? Pehle, human beings apni body ko cover karne ke liye leaves, bark of tree or skin of animal jo tha wo use karte the to cover their body but later on they have learned the art of weaving and they started making the clothes and then they realized the cloth protect them from heat cold rain dust and insects now we realize that clothes protect us from so many things but we can't wear the same type of cloth in each and every seasons. So we wear the clothes depending on the climate. In summers we wear loose light color cotton clothes. In winters we wear dark color clothes made up of wool, fur, leather and in rainy season we usually wear cotton cloth. Now let's see the clothes are made up of different types of fiber. So let's see types of fibers. Here we are having basically two types of fiber. One is natural and the other is synthetic. Natural is of two types plant and animal some of the fibers we obtain from plant like jute cotton etc and some animal fibers like silk and we are having the wool other than this we are having the synthetic fiber that is the chemical fibers also or man-made fiber we can say like nylon polyester, rayon, etc. In this chapter, we have to see about the animal fibers because last year in class 6, you already have studied about the plant fiber. Now, see here something related to plant fibers. Plant fiber are those fiber which we obtain from plants. They are obtained from different parts of a plant like seed, stem, etc. The base of plant fiber is known as cellulose, which is the material we used by the nature as a structural material in the plant world. And that you have to learn that cellulose is the basic unit of a plant fiber. Animal fibers. Animal fiber are those fibers which we obtain from a different animals. And here the basic unit of the animal fiber is protein. Protein is the complex compound that form a major part of bodies of all animals. Now let's see the first fiber which we obtain from animal that is wool wool mainly comes from the fleece of sheep now what is fleece fleece is the upper layer of the animal on which the hair grows we get the wool from different animals like goat, yak, camel and rabbit. 
the hair on wool yielding animal trap a lot of air air spaces between the wool fiber trap air and you know air is a poor conductor of heat so it act as a shield on the body of an animal and make them or keep them warm wo unhe garam rakhta hai kyunki air apne andar heat allow it's a bad conductor it does not allow the inside heat to go outside and from the outside air to inside that is why woolen clothes are worn in winter the fleece of sheep consists of two types of fiber first one is the coarse beard hair and the other is fine soft under hair coarse beard hair is the long hairs which is present on the body of sheep and the fine soft under hair is the hair which is fine near their skin the under hair provides the fiber for making wool other type of wool other than sheep there are so many other animal also which provide us wool first we see the animal belongs to a camel family that is alpaca and llama okay they all are belonging to a camel family they are giving us the hair of a very good quality second we are having the cashmere wool that we get it from the cashmere goat they are rare and expensive fiber angora wool is combed from the angora rabbit it is an extremely soft and fluffy fiber mohair wool also we obtain from a angora but this time we obtain from a goat mohair we obtain from goat and angora wool we obtain from angora rabbit other than that yak wool we also obtain from a yak you can see here in this picture the different types of animal which provide different types of wool angora goat goat yak llama alpaca and camel now let's see the process how from hair we will got and get the wool the first process is the rearing one the process of keeping feeding breeding and medical care of useful animal is called rearing of animal in india there are mainly some specific states on which we rear the wool yielding animal they are jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand arunachal pradesh and sikkim second process is shearing the process of removing the fleece of the sheep along with the thin layer of skin is called shearing humne animals ko properly rakha unhe food provide kiya medical care diya uske baad unke jab hair properly grow kar jate hain then we will remove the hair with the help of the special kind of shearing instrument we will remove the hair along with their skin the upper skin that was the dead one uske baad the second process third one is coring in that process we are removing the dust dirt and grease by washing the raw wool is called scoring hum jo hairs humne unki body se remove kiya now we will wash them out hum unhe saaf karenge because they contain a lot of dirt after that we will shorting shorting is the process in which we are separating the hair of different texture because all the hair is of not same type so we have to remove and separate them on the basis of their quality later on we are having the removing burr process burr is known as the soft fluffy fiber which is appear on the wool 
you all have seen on your sweaters in winter season the fluffy hair is appear on it after few days when you start wearing it that is known as burr and that we removed out manually later on we have to dye them because the original color of the hair of sheep is white brown and black only but we have seen in the market lot of different kind of colors so how we will obtain it we obtain it by the process of dyeing last that the process is making yarn the wool is straightened combed and then spun into a yarn after the spinning the wool is either woven or knitted the long fibers are knitted into knitted into wool for sweaters and the short fiber we are obtaining or woven into the woolen cloth here you can see the process understand the process by the help of this diagram some steps are mentioned here the main and basic steps first one is shearing then we have washed it out scoring shorting carding is the process in which we have straightened them out and we are removing the burr and then it is we are making the yarn by the help of the instruments the quality of wool now you have to understand we have studied that how we will obtain the wool from the hairs now the wool varies from one breed to another breed means all the quality of the wool is not same so the quality is decided on the basis of five different properties that is thickness length shine strength and color of the fiber these five factors are responsible for the quality of fiber now the second fiber which we have to study is silk silk is a natural fiber we obtain from silk worm cocoon silk fiber are very strong and are often used for making clothes silk does not conduct heat and it is therefore a good insulator keeping a person warm in winter and cool in summer to understand the how we will obtain the silk first we have to understand the life cycle of a silk moth the life cycle of a silk moth has four steps or four stages egg larva pupa and then an adult stage let's understood it the life cycle of a silk moth start when a female silk moth lay egg then that eggs were get hatched out and after this egg hatched out the caterpillar larva or silk worm we can say is come out from the egg and then they start eating a mulberry leaf and start growing धीरे धीरे करके कैटरपिलर्स आपके उस मलबरी लीव्स लीव्स को खाना शुरू करते हैं और उसे खाकर वो डे बाय डे ग्रो करते हैं एंड व्हेन दे ग्रो प्रॉपरली दे स्टार्टेड सिक्रीटिंग अ फाइबर फ्रॉम देयर बॉडी व्हिच इज अ प्रोटीन एंड स्टार्टेड कवरिंग देयर बॉडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट फाइबर एंड दैट actually they are creating a cocoon on their body this fiber cover completely the larva because that animal that small caterpillar is now larva have covered inside the cocoon inside the cocoon the larva is called as the pupa and pupa will grow in it and develop properly and then turn into the turn into the adult moth again here you can understand this by the help of this diagram there is an adult moth they are mating with each other after that they have lay some egg on a mulberry leaves then this moth will hatch out and turn them 
into the caterpillars the caterpillar have started eating the mulberry leaves and then they turn into the day by day they started growing and turn into a larva and larva started secreting a protein around their body you can see here in this picture what what is going on small uh, fluffy fibers are going to be surrounded there around their bodies and that is known as cocoon you can see here and inside the cocoon this larva was present and that is called as now pupa but if we have to obtain the silk we will obtain it from this stage of the silk worm we will kill the animal at this stage you can see here also if we need the fiber we will take the cocoon and put them into the warm water or into the oven and after the animal was get killed we will remove the animal and take out the cocoon and then after that we will straighten them and then use it for making the fiber but if we are not using it for the making of fibers then this animal will get developed inside it and turn into the adult sericulture the breeding and management of silk worm for the production of silk is known as sericulture means when the on the industry level when the people were growing the lot of silk worm for the production of silk that process was known as sericulture here one thing you have to know that the silk worm around 5500 silk worm is required to produce 1 kg of raw silk so you can imagine that how much silk worm we need to produce the silk health conditions of worker in the woolen sericulture industry here there are a lot of adverse effect you can see on the people those who are working in the industry diseases like shorter disease respiratory disease scabies and other infections are seen in the people those who are working in that industry shorter disease is caused in wool industry by the bacterium called as anthrax there is a bacteria called as anthrax causes a shorter disease respiratory diseases are caused in the silk industry scabies and other in skin infections are also caused in silk industry thank you so much for watching i hope that you all have understood this chapter Very well if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel